that I'm gonna show you an amazing idea. Let's get them put together. Hey, this looks like it's a... situation is really awesome. So you just put that on the inside and put the panels on the outside, put some wing nuts. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> you already know that. <laughs> You're going to have to come and find me. gun while he gets set together just to kind of snug them up. Okay. Sounds good. Then take a few years. Now it's time for me to tell you my alternative thoughts for these metal raised beds. Put it into position. Take your greenhouse. Put it into position and just wait to see how easy this is. Now you see, you don't really have to fill up your raised beds with compost, cardboard, hoop culture. You could actually put pots in there. And you could do bucket gardening in here. You can use the soft-sided pots. You could use the hard-sided pots. You could go buy plant starts that aren't ready yet to go in the ground because it's a little too cold. Put them in here. Extended growing time. Look at that. That is such a good idea. Before you start your spring garden, you can do this. You could even probably put this in your garage with some grow lights on a back porch or patio. That is one use that I have for this awesome greenhouse on the top of this awesome Quinset raised bed. All right, so before I put these together, I had a fabulous idea. This will make an awesome chick brooder. So let me show you what I'm thinking.
does it is make a little perfect brooder box. Now this could be used for outside time whenever the chicks are really young on a warm day, or you could put it in your house, in your garage, on your porch, wherever you want. Now let me show you one more step that will keep them warm and they can actually stay in here as a full-time chick brooder. Nice, secure, they cannot fly out and they will stay nice and warm on a nice day. If it's not a nice day and you have them inside or in the garage on the front porch, let me show some things that you could do to make this the ultimate chick brooder. All right, from here, all you have to do is unzip your greenhouse. You see this framing? This framing would be so perfect for a heat lamp. You can just take your heat lamp, you can set it on here, zip tie it for extra security, and then you can run the cord out. Make sure that you get this nice and secure so we don't have any fires. Now using a heat lamp is complete personal preference. If you don't want to use a heat lamp, you can do this. So if you try to avoid heat lamps, this might be a better option for you. This is a heating plate. So the heating plate can work just the same way as the heat lamp. It's just a lot safer. So you could take the heating plate, you could put it on the ground, you can run the extension cord out and then you can zip back up your greenhouse. Now some of the things that this will work well for is in your house, if you have cats or dogs, this will prevent them from getting in for the chicks. Now it's not disaster proof, but it'll actually let them look in and see what's going on without actually physically getting too close to them. Little fingers, you have lots of little kids in your house. It's such a great experience to grow out baby chicks. So this will keep their little fingers away from them where they can actually observe them at any time without touching. Not only does this make a perfect brooder for little chickens or any kind of poultry, think about the options. You could put your guinea pigs in there, your pet rabbits, your lizards, your tortoises. You could put them in here, in the house, in the garage, in your kids' room, on the front porch. This is nice to protect them from the wind or from the environment, like we just talked about whether it could protect them for inside the house. The same thing with any of those other animals, or you could take it off and visit with your chicks, visit with your tortoise, your lizard, your guinea pigs, and they can't get out. It's nice and secure down to the ground. Amazing options with this Quinset metal raised bed with the optional greenhouse is amazing for so many uses. This thing is so light. With one hand, you could place it on top of the raised bed and boom, done. This Quinstent metal raised bed with the optional greenhouse is the way to go. I'm gonna rethink everything. This would be so perfect as a display at my farmer's market. Look at that. By security reasons, no one can touch them or breathe on them. They stay warm in there. We always bring a generator. We could bring a little heat plate. All the children and all the customers can see all the little baby chicks. And oh my God, if I had like bunnies, I could put them in there, ducks. You could put so much in this, you guys. And it's so inexpensive and it's really great quality. I am totally impressed with this raised bed.